purpose. I now have my template fared out and I have all of the parts that are gonna make the form rough cut to a little bit oversized of the width of this template piece. So a couple of things to note, it's important to have some type of a reference here in order to align your curve consistently on the next piece and so on and so forth. So if I had a really narrow piece here, it'd be tough to gauge where this thing needed to go. I would probably need to measure from the bottom of this thing down to the bottom of the three quarter material. Uh, I just find it a little bit easier to line everything up on the bottom, making sure those are fair, and then lining up that center line on the top. So center line here, center line there, center line in the back. Okay. And that looks pretty good. All right, so I'm happy with that. Now I need to hold these two together. Uh, some people swear by double stick tape, which is good. Um, they would put a little bit of tape all the way across in lots of areas, but removing of that stuff can be a little laborious. So for me, I just like using fasteners. I'm going to put a screw in here. Countersink this. What's going on with my drill? I do need to countersink this, so I will grab screws that are flathead. In order to make my life easier. The other thing about this is I need to use a one-inch screw. I'm having a weird day with my Jibs, apparently. All right, so countersunk there, that's going to be important for the next phase of this. And I really think three screws is all I'll need. Hmm. Maybe time for a new countersinking set. Are there any manufacturers watching that have an awesome countersink set? That would be fantastic. Okay. Now that I have this secured, What's going to look like. So I have a little extension with my template here, a lot over there. I have extra material on the three-quarter side. So this is ready to go for trimming it down. What I'll be using is the router table. Uh, the router table is going to work because I have a pattern maker bit, so the bearing on the bottom, cutter on the top. The countersink piece of these screws is critical because I'm going to be running this inverted so my template's going to be on the bottom. I don't necessarily need to do it for this first step uh, but I think you'll see why when I transfer this curve to the next piece and so on and so forth. Uh, that's that's the bit that I want to use. So all right let me turn this off and then we'll reposition over to the router table.